okay sweet equity shares equity shares which are issued by a company as a reward to its employees for providing their know how or making available rights in intellectual property rights or value additions by whatever name it is called for consideration other than cash it is called sweet equity shares sometimes companies don't provide bonus to their employees instead they provide esops employee stock option scheme okay so uh, that is given to everyone who qualifies a certain limit but there are some special employees those who are ready or willing to give some additional help or additional know how additional idea to company so that company makes a huge profit they are given some uh, preferential shares or some equity shares uh, additional equity shares that is called sweet equity shares that is a reward to the employees those who are providing additional additional help to the company now time is for some mcqs okay so i hope this much uh, theory is essential for your exam point of view the appeal against the orders of securities exchange board of india can be made to central government securities appellate tribunal registrar of companies or high court we read it so many people can answer it it is securities appellate tribunal very good asba amount is blocked in trading members account investors own account both a and b or none of the above it is contradictory okay c cannot be answer because it is contradictory why what i said to you if asba money is given to the corporate they will make a huge profit sometimes they, they even don't need money okay if they issue for 1000 crore uh, the subscription come for 100000 crores so it is never in trading members account because somebody will gain unnecessarily the interest from public money stock exchange is known as primary market secondary market capital market it is secondary market stock exchange are known as secondary market but they, these are part of capital market stock exchange is part of capital market but known as secondary market which is also called zero coupon bond where no interest is paid is called a zero coupon bond very good answer it is treasury bills or t bills okay which of the following statement is not true regarding treasury bills are issued in form of a promissory note they are highly liquid and have assured yield they carry high risk of default they are available for a minimum amount of 20000 and in multiples thereof so some brainstorming for you when the question is long you need to be patient and read it carefully and remember if you read it carefully you can eliminate the wrong answers you will have ample time in cbi exam you will have ample time to answer so never ever be in a hurry very good d is the right and uh, d is true so you cannot answer as d because the question says which is not true be careful when it is when it is true or not true c is not the right answer because it it is carry no risk t bills are as good as buying golds it is as good as buying golds because it is issued by rbi but issued on behalf of government of india so that means it carries a sovereign guarantee okay there is a question about depository participant please look into it it serves as intermediary between the investor and the depository who is authorized to maintain the accounts of dematerialized shares that is called depository participant uh, take it as a note not as a question because answer is given so take it as a bite from our side okay so the depository participant maintains the digital form of your dematerialized shares so i bought a share so when i am buying a share somebody is selling it the hands are changed so how come i will know or someone will know that the shares at the end of day are in my account so that maintenance that record keeping is done by a depository participant and who clears this ccil which is a type of investment vehicle consisting of a portfolio of stock bonds and other securities government securities mutual funds derivatives and shares very good it is a mutual fund it is a mutual fund the value of an one unit of investment in mutual fund is called as net asset value issue issue value market value gross asset value these are silly questions net asset value or nab you can say okay 
I think how would it ended? Okay, anyway, thank you for your patience. Uh, I hope this session is quite informative for your. If you are a public sector banker and eligible for promotions this year, then you have landed at the right channel. In last three years, we have produced more than five thousand results in bank promotions exams, starting from Reserve Bank of India to SBI, PNB. to idbi bank punjab and sindh bank to bank of baroda indian bank to central bank of india in all public sector banks we have a dedicated course for you and higher the scale greater the content is so don't miss out this opportunity to grab your promotional aspirations this year visit our website check out the links in description or whatsapp us at the given number to connect with us stay prepared and wish you success this year